Kashgar, where North and South Silk Roads met, and the frenzy of trade which resulted built a sprawling, prosperous city. This 2,000-year-old culture has long drawn travellers from afar to the westernmost part of China. In many ways, it doesn't seem to have changed that much. Located in the south of Xinjiang, the part of the region where the Uyghur population dominates, it's where East and Central Asia meet. It's a land of traders, famed for their silks and spices, and a land of farmers, renowned for its melons and grapes. Uyghurs are a Muslim people who speak their own Turkic language and have their own distinct culture from that of the Han majority in China. They have their own foods, from flatbreads cooked in these round clay ovens to grilled skewers of meat. Their own music and instruments, such as lutes. Their own clothing, vibrant woven silks and heavily embroidered four-cornered hats. Their own homes. For centuries, many have lived in courtyard houses like these. Some of the buildings in the old city have been here for four or five hundred years. But they won't be here much longer. The government has embarked on a three billion yuan plan to raise much of the old city. They're knocking down 85% of the buildings, saying they're unsafe and inconvenient. And they're replacing them with modern constructions, some behind traditional style facades. Most of the old city's tens of thousands of inhabitants will be relocated and the lifestyle of Uyghurs here will change forever. Without a courtyard, for example, many women will no longer have outside space in which to go unveiled. Pigeon keepers will no longer be able to tend their birds on their rooftops. Of course, there will always be tourist sites in Kashgar, and they'll no doubt be cleaner and shinier when the overhaul is completed, like the Grand Bazaar, renovated a few years ago. They turfed out the livestock market which used to stand with it. Farmers now come here to the Sunday market to trade horses, donkeys and sheep. Sometimes even camels turn up for sale. A few miles outside the centre of Kashgar, it's the rowdy, sometimes chaotic embodiment of a world that is vanishing before our eyes. And for tourists, it's much more memorable than the sanitised version replacing it.